good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tokyo. Uh, thank you very much for attending to the 2018 ICN merger workshop. And we appreciate you taking your time from your busy schedule to join it. And we hope you will find the program we had lined up to be fruitful and engaging. Uh, my name is Akari Yamamoto from Japan Fair Trade Commission, and I'll be your MC for this workshop. So first of all, I'd like to ask Mr. Kazuyuki Sugimoto, the chairman of Japan Fair Trade Commission, to deliver an opening speech. Mr. Sugimoto, if you please. Uh, good morning, distinguished delegate, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, ICN uh, major workshop meeting in Japan. Over 200 participants from about 40 countries or regions have gathered here to join this workshop. As the chairman of uh, Japan Theater Commission, I would like to welcome you all and also would like to express my appreciation to uh, Federal Trade Commission in US and uh, <coughs> competition and market authorities in UK for help, helping JFTC to organize this event as ICN merger workshop group co-chairs. <coughs> there have been significant changes in society and the economy around the globe. This is what I am saying in various opportunities. We competition authorities are required to reinforce competition law and policy correspondingly to those big economic and social changes. I think globalization and digitalization are the two <coughs> very uh, significant factors of these changes. In considering a theme of this workshop, we thought it would be essential to refer to those two changes. So we said, what is the ideal merger review, cor review corresponding to globalization and digitalization in economy as the theme of this workshop? First, globalization. Not that this is anything new, but recently it has been accelerated more and more. Almost every week, I read news, news articles <coughs> reporting big M&As which affect world market. Actually, one research shows that about uh, 50,000 M&As take place in the world per year. And the total value of those M&As reaches about 3.5 trillion US dollars. This is almost as large as the GDP of Germany. Furthermore, it is said that about 30% in value among those M&As are cross-border M&A days. To review those cross-border M&A days, I think it is very critical for major reviews practice among all of the competition authorities to converge to international standard. I am expecting that the discussion at this workshop lead to us to more appropriate pr practices corresponding to globalization and digitalization in economy. Also, cooperation among agencies is essential. We have several topics relating to international cooperation among agencies in this workshop. I understand ICN merger <coughs> working group has actively discussed this issue and I am expecting that the discussion is going to be much deepened on this occasion. Next is digitalization. Nowadays, we can purchase almost all goods or services through the internet. The society we are most part of our life is connected to the internet is coming or has already come. Responding to the digitization in society, should we change our approach or practice of the merger review? If so, how should we do? I am very interested in these questions. Especially, there have been some cases where platform companies acquire small startups which might be their potential competitors. 
How should we competition authorities deal with those types of M&As? I really hope that this workshop contribute to find the answer, or at least to find the clues for the answer to these questions. What is the ideal merger review corresponding to globalization or the digitalization in economy? I understand that there exist many issues or challenges we have to deal with. However, one thing we all should bear in mind is that in merger review, we should always keep our practice consistent with international standards. JFTC is now enforcing competition policy under the title of New Era's Competition Policy. Then we have received some clicks saying, fire bid rigging, cartels, or some mergers prohibited. We are just trying to get along with everybody and make everybody happy. Responding to those uh, critics, I always show one cap and one, uh, one ball. The cap is baseball cap of the one of the major league baseball teams, and the ball is memorial baseball from major league all-star games last year. They are on my office desk. Then I say, the regulation that prohibits bit leagings and other comp uncompetitive practices like a baseball rule. If two baseball teams agree with <coughs> batter would be struck out, the game would become boring and for the audience and no players practice how to improve their skills. Eventually, the value of professional baseball league would come to nothing. I believe that such an idea of competition value is universal anywhere around the world. Promoting innovation through competition can make businesses competitive and our economies grow. Competition policy and we competition authority can play a very important role for this. It is expected that we share recognition on the importance of our role through the, this workshop. We lined, uh, we lined up a lot of topics re related to the globalization and the digitalization in this workshop. We believe that every topic is worth much discussion. We expect that not only moderator and the panelist, but who audience talk actively and share experience with each other, which will surely make this workshop productive and informative. Also now is a very comfortable season to stay in Tokyo. I really hope you all have a time to enjoy Tokyo and Japan. I would like to conclude my remarks by wishing all the best for the success of this workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your opening re remarks, uh, Mr. Sugimoto. And um, next, uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Sadaaki Suazono. Uh, Deputy Sar Secretary General for International Affairs of JFTC to bring greetings on behalf of Japan's Minister of State for Special Missions, Mr. Mitsuhiro Miyakoshi. Uh, Mr. Suzanono, if you please. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Minister Mi Mr. Miyakoshi said that uh, he wanted to attend this meeting and make a speech by himself, but he has to attend parliament session today. So uh, he really missed this opportunity. So I'd like to sincerely uh, deliver Mr. Miyakoshi's speech on his behalf. <coughs> it's my great honor to give opening remarks at the, hold, at the holding of the ICN merger workshop. I recognize that this ICN is the largest network of competition authorities worldwide, which comprises 139 authorities from 126 jurisdictions. It's wonderful you have this network for exchanging views and experiences and enhancing international cooperation among authorities and experts. I understand that this is the, the third ICN conference Japan Fair Trade Commission hosts, uh, followed by ICN Annual Conference in 2007 and ICN Culture Workshop in 2010. And it's a great pleasure to hold this merger workshop in Japan with all the people who have traveled all the way here and all delegates from competition authorities and experts from abroad. I'd like to express my special gratitude to all the people here. Uh, fair and free competition in the market can activate and energize the economy by giving 
businesses a big motivation to provide consumers with better quality products and services at a lower price and create, create business innovation. It is an important policy issue for the Japanese government to further strengthen competition policy and to build a fair and free competitive environment for achieving sustainable, sustainable economic growth. Japan has over a 70-year history of enforcing competition law and policy, and Japan Fair Trade Commission, JFTC, has always been acting as a core agency. Especially since the 1980s and onwards, free trade and investment across borders have been further advanced, and it has increasingly become necessary for us to respond to those international activities. And as business activities have been more and more globalized, activities of business can really easily go beyond national borders and have impacts on multinational jurisdictions. Moreover, as Prime Minister uh, Mr. Abe mentioned in his general policy speech at the current Dia session, Parliament session, a large amount of data gets around the world in a flash and creates brand new value. So, the whole world has been changing more rapidly than we've never seen. I believe that competition authorities are required to enforce competition law and policy correspondingly to those changes. I would like to close my remarks by wishing you all an active and fruitful discussion on the issues arising from globalization and digitalization at this workshop. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Suazono. Then I'd like to invite a representative from one of the co-chairs of Merger Working Group, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, Ms. Christine Wilson, the Commissioner of the USFTC. Ms. Wilson, if you please. Thank you. Ohayo gozaimasu. Thank you, Chairman Sugimoto, and arigato gozaimasu to all of the JFTC staff who have worked so hard to make this event possible. It is an honor for me to be here to help start this 15th ICN merger workshop and to be among the beneficiaries of such gracious hospitality from our hosts at the JFTC. It is fitting that we gather in modern, dynamic Tokyo to discuss a range of dynamic, cutting-edge issues, reflecting the impacts of digitalization and globalization on modern merger review. Attending this event is a personal privilege for me. Although I was only recently sworn in as commissioner at the Federal Trade Commission, I previously served at the FTC as chief of staff to Chairman Muris, including at the time of the ICN's founding in 2001. And before that, I helped craft the final report of the International Competition Policy Advisory Committee that was commissioned by Attorney General Janet Reno. That report notably recommended that U.S. antitrust agencies pursue a so-called Global Competition Ish Initiative, or GCI, with willing counterparts from around the world. The recommended GCI was renamed ICN, which admittedly has a nicer ring to it, and the rest is history. And what an extraordinary 17-year history it has been. This type of vibrant meeting of enforcers, academics, and practitioners to exchange experiences, discuss emerging issues, and promote best practices is exactly what was hoped for, but by no means guaranteed at the ICN's founding. I can assure you that the many hopeful visionaries who helped make the ICN a reality, including those at fellow founding member JFTC and many of the agencies that you represent here today, look at this type of workshop and all that the ICN does in the names of cooperation and convergence with great pride and support. I mentioned the dynamic and timely agenda we have before us at this workshop, exploring such issues as the digital economy, innovation, vertical mergers, and globalization. These concepts present challenges that are at the forefront of agency merger policy thinking around the world today. Indeed, at my own agency, 
we have recently convened a comprehensive set of hearings on the state of competition and consumer protection in the 21st century. The hearings aim to examine whether broad-based changes in the economy, evolving business practices, new technologies, and international developments might require adjustments to the law, enforcement priorities, and policy. In other words, we are exploring many of the same issues that Chairman Sugimoto highlighted in his opening remarks. Our hearings will give us input from a variety of practitioners, noted academics, and international colleagues, and we look forward to learning from those hearings. Several of our hearings will focus on the topics that we will discuss today and tomorrow. Just last week, I was honored to close a session on vertical mergers. This week, the topics of privacy, big data, and competition are being discussed. Previous sessions covered concentration and competitiveness and evaluating acquisitions of potential or nascent competitors in the digital marketplace. It is encouraging to see such widespread attention to these important issues, though perhaps not surprising given how ICN and other venues have brought us together to better identify, consider, and compare approaches. We at the FTC are excited and committed to adding our voice and our experience to the growing international dialogue on these topics. And for those of you who are interested, all comments and hearings are available online at the FTC's website. It is a pleasure for my agency to share the leadership of the merger working group with our distinguished co-chairs and friends at the JFTC and the UK's CMA. We also recognize that everyone here is part of the robust discussion and consensus building that has made the working group and its work a success. The group's current work is informed by input from agencies and practitioners alike. Our initiatives on vertical mergers, investigative techniques, and enforcement approaches continue the great legacy of practical-minded exchanges and recommendations. I encourage you all and your colleagues at home to remain active in the merger working group once you return home. We need your wisdom. But before we think about going home, it is my pleasure to help start this workshop. I intend to take full advantage of the engaging agenda, discussions, and interactions we have before us today and tomorrow, and I invite you to do the same. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for your remarks, Ms. Wilson. And this is the end of the opening session, and we are moving along to the plenary one session. <laughs>